I'm going to talk about confidence, so let's just start at the start. So you're born and then you spend like the first 10 years of your life like not really knowing much about anything. I like to call it dumb wisdom, but like, you know, some people call it like the wisdom of the child or something like, sounds nice like that. Anyway, what I mean is you have all this confidence which verges on fearlessness because you haven't learned yet about consequences. You haven't learned how to be embarrassed or how to be self-conscious and in a way, that's dumb because you're like that because you just don't know any better. But ironically, you might end up spending a lot of your adult life wishing that you were a bit more like that. So, you know, it's kind of wise as well. Kids have got some shit truly figured out, man. I mean, there really are levels to this shit. When I was three years old, I was running around on the beach, little dick out, not giving a fuck. You know, nowadays, that's just... That's just not appropriate, is it? Unless you find a special beach. Anyway, so you hit double figures in the years department. I mean, like you're 10 or 11 and like all of a sudden kids become less into Lego and more into like giving each other dead arms. Like it's, whereas it used to be okay to have a T-Rex on your lunchbox. Now, all of a sudden like, oh, that's not okay. Now it's not enough for your shoes to light up when you run. They've got to have like a, this little specific badge on them in the shape of the right like logo or whatever and if they don't then like other kids might point at you and laugh and say ah your shoes are shit where do you get them from the, sh the shit shoe store ha <laughs> anyway kids get mean like and your mates aren't just determined by your parents mates anymore you know you don't get hooked up on like play dates anymore you've got to actually interact with humans in a way that makes them want to hang out with you and this is when you first experience like social groups and like social dynamics. And like, if you're lucky, your mum and dad won't have any like major physical defects that other kids could like take the piss out of you for. And like, you'll never slip up and like call the teacher mum. And you know, you might get in with one of the groups that are slightly higher up the social ladder at school, but you might not, right? And you can spend a lot of your school life climbing up or falling down this ladder or floating around the middle, whatever it is. And just when you're mastering it or like feel like you've found your footing, found your place and you're nice and comfortable, you finish school, right? Shit really changes again. In school, it was just about like, who lied about sleeping with the most girls? I'm just really good at shagging now, that's all I'm saying. Or who was the best at footy or who was the artist, like, and all of a sudden, that ain't the social currency anymore. Now it's more about like what you fucking do for a living or like how clever you are or like how much money you've got or whatever, right? This is all just confusing shit, right? Anyway, by the time you hit your early 20s, you might have your shit somewhat together, but the chances are you've been through at least one period in your life where you just didn't really know what the fuck was going on and you found human interaction quite intimidating. You know, you would absolutely shit your little pants when it was your turn to do like the PowerPoint presentation or something. Now, if you can identify with this feeling, congratulations, you're a human. You see, sometimes I come across YouTube videos, particularly like fitness transformations or something like that. And it's all about how like a dude was like super shy and had like no confidence. And I'm like, yeah, no shit, like that, that's called being fucking 14, you noodle. So step one, and, and this isn't even step one, actually, this is like step zero. Accept the fact that if you were shy or you lacked social confidence or you still do, like, that's pretty fucking normal, to be honest. It's run of the mill, mate. It's par for the course. The course is life, yeah? And, you know, if you've gotten over it, then congratulations, I'm happy for you. But you're never gonna sell it on Netflix. Like, it's not a particularly unique tale. So this brings me to a first point. Everyone experiences the symptoms of low confidence to some extent at some point. It might manifest as poor social skills. It might manifest as self-doubt, excessive worry, high levels of risk aversion. Maybe it makes you super sensitive to criticism. Maybe it stops you from being like vulnerable and open, whatever it is, right? Everyone experiences it or has had some experience of it some of the time, right? Now, that being said, people do definitely experience this to vastly different extents. Maybe you're one of the lucky ones who got over it all in your teens and like you've been this confident mofo ever since. But if you're not, what can you do about it? I did an experiment. I taped the microphone to my chest. I put my shirt over it. I thought this is gonna be sick. It's gonna be that inconspicuous. And then there was all this like rustling sound. It went horribly wrong. I had to take my shirt off. 
and now it's the opposite of conspicuous it, it's, it's conspicuous so i'm just going to carry on with the video um take one take an l on it and let's all just not mention it in the comments please so i was going to stand here and talk about like you know tips for like how to be confident and that and then i thought joe who the fuck do you think you are lad because uh, you don't really know because any confidence that i've got I think probably here by accident, most of it, just luck or something or some kind of combination of like nature and nurture and the universe just like, you know, happening to work out all right for me. Now, that being said, I'm not the most confident person in the world, probably just, probably average, mate. You probably think I'm above average because I'm still here with a microphone on my chest, right? I'm not, I'd say I'm probably average, right? And uh, I think I'd feel more confident starting with like what not to do to be confident. No, right there. It's not how not to be confident, it's how not to try to be confident, right? That's that's my initial list. So number one is, uh, don't watch YouTube videos from people who like go anywhere near the phrase alpha male. That's generally a bad sign, generally just, I find them just to be a bit weird, mate. Right? Just strange people, generally, stay away from that. I probably wouldn't read books that contain the word secret in the title, like secret, revealed, you know, truth about that. Uh, if you read the first page and it says shit about like releasing your inner fucking power or like channeling your energy, that kind of mad shit, probably steer clear about that as well. Um, generally, I would steer clear of the notion that anything is going to really fill the hole. Like, you know, that hole is a metaphor for like, it's the place where you think confidence should go. You know what I mean? You feel like, oh shit, I should have this confidence here, but it's not here. Ergo, there is a hole there, a confidence sized confidence shaped hole right stay clear of the idea that like muscle mass or money or promiscuity is going to fill that hole because it's probably not i mean i'm not saying that they're bad things they're, they can be great things in the right context certainly but i don't think they give you confidence and in general i don't think anything does fill that hole i think it might be a nice idea to like stop trying to fill it and just get used to doing shit when it feels weird because like Thing about being a human is right you go through life and there's all these new experiences right all the time like new shit right and let's use an extreme example of like jumping out a plane or doing a bungee jump or some shit like that right? it's just a very extreme example of what you're doing little bungee jumps every single motherfucking day right and it feels weird to you because it's alien because we're these like creatures that do loads of mad shit these days we used to just like sleep and eat and fuck and kill right now we do different shit, like jumping off cliffs and that. It's weird, mate. Some people get in those wingsuits and they look like big flying squirrels. And like all this stuff, it feels weird, but the thing is, right, it's supposed to feel weird because life is weird. Everything is new and crazy. It's not supposed to feel like normal. And I think if you like wait to feel normal, you wait to like, you try and be confident before you do shit and you're probably gonna end up not doing that much shit because like, to me, I feel like confidence is more of a bonus than a requirement. Apologies, people, I got a knock at the door. I had to untape the microphone from the chest and then come back up and retape it to the chest for the sake of continuity, but I discovered that the tape had lost some sticky in the process. Don't use Gorilla Tape to tape things to your actual human body. That's not what it's for. Anyway, I'm gonna try and blast through to the end of the video and get back to my actual point. So what I was saying was, of course, there are ways and means you can like become more confident and start to feel more confident about doing stuff or feel more comfortable about doing stuff because they are one and the same thing really, aren't they? Feeling confident about doing something is just like saying, I feel okay with doing it, I feel comfortable doing it, right? There are things you can do and it doesn't really take the brains of like, I don't know, someone clever, which is a good job because there's no one clever in this room, right? You just put yourself out there a bit more like, gradual exposure to like more and more risk, like new situations, new people, new scenarios, all that kind of thing. Like, you know, and then one day you might build up a bit of confidence, right? Easy, scare yourself, get outside your comfort zone. Like cliche, cliche, cliche. Yeah. It's true, mate, it all works. But I think more than actually just building confidence and trying to become this confident person, right? Because what you're essentially doing there, right, is spending your life as a human fighting against the human condition, right? That's how I feel about it. I feel like it is naturally built into you, like genetically, to like be fucking nervous and anxious about new shit sometimes, right? It's, it's built into you for weird stuff to feel weird right? because it is weird, right? And if you're gonna spend your life fighting what it is to be human, then that's just like an uphill struggle, mate, treading water. It's like the end of Gladiators when they're going up the Travelator and it's coming down. I hope you get that reference, but instead of doing that, right, I think it's more about just learning to live with it, learning to live with the whole man, learning to live with a bit less 
confidence than you know is traditionally perceived as the normal amount right because like that's all it is anyway you're just going through life doing stuff and like feeling not completely comfortable about it and like it might actually be a lie like that was supposed to be proper I don't want this I don't want this to get into this whole like oh it's okay I don't want to be like one of those like YouTube channels where I just come on and make a video and say like it's okay to be normal it's okay to be human like and that I like comfort everyone and everyone like gets around in the comments and like comforts each other about how how, sh how shit everyone is at everything right it's not about that like I'm not trying to like excuse being shit uh, what I'm just trying to say is that maybe it's not normal to actually have enough confidence to like do loads of shit and, like, you know maybe that's abnormal right and uh, confidence is a fucking luxury in it, but you know, I don't really know if that makes sense, but I'm gonna go. I'm just having to think for a second because I just don't want to waste time ranting. I'm just give me one second, I'm just gonna think. All right, I'm gonna try and say that this. So I think I've got two points remaining. Number one, I don't think we should be in this endless, continuous, perpetual pursuit of what we traditionally know as like confidence, you know, because the end result is actually the same whether you do something with or without confidence you can still do it because most of the decisions they're not actually fight or flight that's the only time when you don't really have control over your shit every other time you actually do have control over it so you can still do stuff right and no one knows whether that was a confident person doing something or whether it was the pussy you know like it probably was like me or like you you know and one final thing that has helped me and in the past i've said that this helped me to feel more confident and like be more confident, right? But now that I think about it, I think that's not true. I don't think it did. I think it just allows me to operate better without confidence, right? And that is the idea or the notion or the awareness of how weird everything is and ergo how insignificant we are, right? Because right behind you, not behind you specifically, but behind the camera, there's three cacti. Right? Imagine if you'd never seen a cactus before, right? You came across them and you'd be like, what the fuck is this weird shit, right? The other day, I heard seahorses, right? I didn't hear seahorses. I heard that seahorses. It'd be funny if you could hear it. I wonder if you can. I heard that seahorses, like the man. He's the one who like gives birth and stuff. That's super weird, isn't it? You know, like we're all on, we're on a big rock, mate. There's loads of rocks, right? And they're all spinning. There's so much shit and it's spinning around other shit. You know what I mean? In the words of Nick Diaz, we're throwing spinning shit now. And it's not just spinning shit. It's spinning on fire shit. Everything's basically on fire. Like the sun's on fire beneath your feet dig for long enough you'll be on fire you know what i mean and so like when you take into consideration all the weirdness all the insif insignificance the vast expanse of the universe that's before you've even got into like quantum mechanics and time and space dilation and all that crazy shit you know take all that into consideration you'll realize that it doesn't really matter you can probably do the fucking powerpoint presentation whether you you know got a sweaty upper lip or not you know what i mean because like you don't have to immediately say like oh i'm nervous this is a bad thing you just say like right i've got a fucking powerpoint to do better do it man i know this is weird i'm gonna upload it anyway so what fucking got a fucking mic on me chest this is what happens when you give a lad an office space to play with when he gets weird with the camera and lights and shit Starts taping shit to his body. <laughs> <sighs> Night of Columbus. Thanks to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. If you need a website, check them out for a super easy and affordable way of creating your own unique and functional site. They've got loads of templates that you can choose from to get you started, whether it's for an online store, gallery, blog, or whatever else. There are specifically designed templates built with that in mind. They're all fully adaptable to the device that they are being viewed on as well. So nothing looks weird if you switch from desktop to tablet to phone. And you can customize the look and layout by using the style editor tool or the customizable content blocks. If you want to sell products, there's loads of useful tools that allow you to list digital or physical products and services, set up discount codes and sales, customize your checkout area and loads of other stuff. So if you want to have a play around to check out some more features, you can head to squarespace.com and start your free trial today and then go to squarespace.com forward slash Joe Delaney to get 10% off your first purchase when you're ready to get going. Ciao, ciao, people. Sayonara. Joe Delaney is my hero.